This video will show how to determine whether a set of data has any outliers. An outlier is a data value that is significantly greater than or less than the other data values. Before we determine any outliers though, it's important to be aware of the methods used to determine quartile 1, quartile 3, and the outliers. In this video, we will use the Moore-McCabe method to determine the quartiles, where according to this method, quartile 1 is the median of the lower half of the data, not including the median, and quartile 3 is the median of the upper half of the data, again not including the median. And then we'll use Tucky's method to determine the outliers, where according to this method, outliers are values that are less than quartile 1 minus 1.5 times the interquartile range, or greater than quartile 3 plus 1.5 times the interquartile range. And the interquartile range is Q3 minus Q1. So going back to our example, the first step is to order the data from least to greatest, which I've already done here to save time. There are a total of 14 data values, and therefore we say n is equal to 14. Before we find quartile one and quartile three, we have to find the median. The median is the data value in the middle, but here, because we have an even number of data values, there are two middle values, and therefore we'll have to find the mean of the two middle values. Notice that we drew a line segment here between the 28 and 30. We have seven values to the left and seven values to the right, and therefore we have two middle values of 28 and 30, the median is the mean of 28 and 30. Well, the quantity 28 plus 30 divided by 2 is equal to 29. The median is 29. And now we need to find quartile 1 and quartile 3. Quartile 1 is the median of the data values on the left. And because we have seven data values on the left, which is odd, quartile 1 is a data value in the list. It is the 24. Notice how there are three values to the left and right of 24 in the lower half of the data. So this is Q1. Now looking at the upper half of the data, there are seven data values, and therefore 40 is the median of the upper half. 40 is quartile three. And now to determine if we have any outliers, we need to determine the values of Q1 minus 1.5 times the inner quartile range, as well as Q3 plus 1.5 times the interquartile range. Where the interquartile range is Q3 minus Q1, or in our case 40 minus 24, which is equal to 16. So Q1 minus 1.5 times the interquartile range is 24 minus 1.5 times 16 and Q3 plus 1.5 times the interquartile range is 40 plus 1.5 times 16. And now let's compute these two values, which are 0 and 64, which means if any data values are less than 0, it would be considered an outlier, or if there are any values greater than 64, it would be considered an outlier. Well, we don't have any data values less than 0, but we have two values greater than 64, and therefore we have two outliers. The outliers are 65 and 77. 65 and 77 are considered significantly greater than the other data values. I hope you found this helpful.